I'm taking a wild guess that my life just got a new kind of complicated. Funny, I don't remember leaving a beautiful woman in my cargo hold. Must be my lucky day. Depends on your definition of lucky. My name the is Risha. The items pieces to a key. A key that unlocks the lost treasure of a very rich dead man named Nokdrayan. Now you're speaking my language. Just wait. It gets better. Nokdrayan was the greatest gangster who ever lived. He personally wiped out the Wrath Cartel and the Vandal Helm Combine during the Syndicate Wars. When he died ten years ago, Nok had more wealth than some Outer Rim worlds. Even the Huts were jealous. Nok sounds like my kind of guy. He was ruthless, bloodthirsty, and vindictive. The only criminals who didn't fear him were the dead ones. Nock hid his fortune right before he died. For ten years, treasure hunters across the galaxy have searched for it, in vain. Until now. You see, I've finally figured out how to get the lost riches of Nock Drayan. You're my new best friend, Risha. That's sweet. But let's try to keep this professional for now. Whoever gets Nock's riches will become an underworld legend. Skavik had his chance and blew it. Now it's your turn. Help me deliver these things in your cargo hold, and Nock Drayan's wealth will be all yours. What's to stop me from shoving you out the airlock? Without me, these items are junk taking up valuable cargo space. I'm the only one that can help you trade these items to get Nock Drayan's treasure. But I won't tell you everything up front. To get the riches, you trust me the same way I trust you. One step at a time. Deal? We'll see if this treasure hunt of yours is worth it. Once you get a taste of this job, I think you'll be hooked. We have deals set up on Taris and Narshada. I'll make all the arrangements and introductions for you on both planets. Until then, I'll be in my bunk. That caged beast there isn't much good for conversation, so come visit me if you feel like chatting. I'll be around for anything you need, sweetheart. Anything. That's a comfort. Looking forward to working with you, Captain. Have to give credit where it's due, Captain. You've done an amazing job delivering this cargo. I always knew you would. I can do lots of amazing things for you, if you'll let me. You're also not easily discouraged. No one has ever come as close to finding Nocturne's riches as we are now. How will you spend all that reward when you finally get it? I was thinking I might hire an army of Wookiees. What you lack in practicality, you make up in style. Your last job is taking the men and the Carbonite to these coordinates. It's a restricted area. Only us and the buyer will be there. That's right. I'll help you negotiate this deal personally. But don't worry. I'm sure you'll do most of the talking. We're finally teaming up, huh? Interesting. The terms of the deal are very specific. If I'm not there, you don't get paid. I'll run ahead and make sure everything's in place. Meet me there with our friend in the Carbonite. Use this access card to enter the restricted area. I'll see you at the delivery point. This is a big moment, Captain. Bigger than you probably realize. I've waited ten years for it. What is this place? A private medical facility. So private, it's only ever served one patient. Dr. Taylor, let's introduce the Captain to the man in Carbonite. Begin the procedure. <laughs> How long has it been? Ten years. I'm sorry it took so long, but I finally have everything you told me to find. Come closer, Lisha. Let me see you. I'm different now. Not that little girl constantly underfoot. Now you are my heir, my legacy. Captain, meet my father, Nokdrayan. I believe I've mentioned him once or twice. I never believed you were really dead, Nock. Then my daughter wasn't doing her job properly. Sorry I wasn't completely honest, Captain. I promised father when he entered Dr. Chela's hibernation treatment I'd never tell anyone the truth. You're a good liar. I'll give you that. Trust is a vice for the weak. I learned that the hard way. Ten years ago, one of my lieutenants deliberately infected me with a disease. It's deadly, incurable, and eating me alive. 
You replaced the infected parts with all that machinery, right? I've done everything to stop this disease, but it's never been enough. Soon, the illness will consume my vital organs. Rumor is Jedi can heal anything. The Jedi proved uncooperative. I killed three trying to learn their secrets. But that is not our present concern. I lied about my father, Captain. But not his lost fortune. That's real. And thanks to all those starship upgrades, it's yours. You have the only starship in the galaxy equipped to travel where the fortune was lost. No one else can reach it. There is a region of space beyond the Outer Rim, called the Long Shadow. There are no stars, no light, no life. Just a derelict starship drifting into a massive black hole. My fortune waits for you there. You're completely sure now? The starship in question has belonged to my family for a very long time. I will give you the coordinates to the derelict vessel. You'll fly into the long shadow and board it. Retrieve the vessel's reliquary and bring it here. Risha will take a single item. The rest is yours. Tell me about this single item Risha gets. A simple piece of ornamentation. It has no value to you. My daughter will stay here. I have things to tell her. And my time grows short. Be careful out there. I've gotten used to seeing you. I'll always come back for you, Risha. The derelict vessel is at these coordinates. Go now. Zero S. Sukarzo. Ani Adlok Tak Afas Emelkindik. I wasn't using it anyway. Besides, our captain has returned. You made it. Open this thing before it's too late. Give me the reliquary. I want to see these treasures before I die. I buried Skavik in that black hole, by the way. Long story. Who is this Skavik? He's nobody. I'll enter the code my father taught me. And there. Such a simple act to fulfill a lifetime of effort. Congratulations, <laughs> Captain. Nock Drain's lost fortune is yours. With one exception. Take the crown, Risha. Claim your birthright. Restore the Draean dynasty as rulers of Dubrillion. Wear the crown and rule that world. Your whole crazy treasure hunt has been to get some kingdom back? Our kingdom. And revenge on the usurpers who stole our throne. Remember those assassins on Tatooine? They were sent by the current king of Dubrillion to end me. What you need is a new king. And I know just the guy. You're volunteering? I'm shocked. This conversation is absurd. My daughter will marry a nobleman. If you're going to rule a world, Risha, you'll have to do questionable things. This is my final lesson to you. In the grand scheme of things, one spacer is meaningless. Keep the reliquary and its wealth. Kill him. Your daughter likes me too much to kill me. Emotions are a distraction, Risha. Father, no. The captain is a good man. I care about him. You... useless child. Spent too many years without my guidance. You're weak. Powerless. Everything I've done. The blood I've spilled. For nothing. <coughs> this is not how it's supposed to end. <laughs> Dispose of my father's body as he instructed, Dr. Chela. You are released from my family's service. I'm sorry you had to see that, Captain. My father was sick. I appreciate you not trying to kill me. After all you've done, that would have been highly ungrateful. You're a wealthy man, Captain. That reliquary holds more than just family heirlooms. Merchants will be killing each other to buy what you're selling. Not sure what I'm supposed to do now. Everyone I've met from Dubrillion has tried to kill me. I don't have an army or a Starfleet. 
I'm supposed to take over a whole planet with just a crown. Want a job fixing my ship while you work out the details? Your engines probably need a good tuning after that last trip. I'll take the job. I'll make sure all the right people hear what you did today, Captain. It's the least I can do. Besides, famous starship captains attract profitable opportunities. And queens in training can never have too many credits. Let's hit the hyperlanes. <laughs>